Hey everyone, now it's time to lazy load our auto imported components. So if we look at the documentation, we can see that we can dynamically import our components just by prefixing our components with the word lazy. That looks easy. Let's see how it works. So if you remember, we have this component that's fetching all our mountains from an API and printing them all out. So it's literally a product card is our component, which has all the fetch inside it. And then in our products page, we're basically just using that component. So what I'm going to do is add the word lazy here. And as you can see, I haven't refactored. It's still called product card. I'm just adding the word lazy into the actual product page and that should still work, right? And it's still there. So still fetching my components, my mountain component. So that's working, but it's what's it doing? What's happening here? So how I wanted this to work is I want to only show this if, so I can use a V if, um, if show is equal to true. So if V of show, and then I can basically just put down here a data property and return and I want to put show and I want it to be false so let me just put that down here do, 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 do. there we go so if show is false um then show the component and only show the component if it's true right so this component's not going to show and as you can see, I have no component. Okay, so this is working how I want. So obviously now I need a button, right? Um, so that I'm gonna be able to show it. So um, we created a button in the last one, in the last page in the product card component. So I'm just gonna copy that in just so we have a nice um, button. So I'm gonna put this under the link, under the home link. And instead of add click equals fetch, I'm going to call a method called show mountains. So the class is here just coming from Tailwind and it's just going to give me a nice blue button with some white text. And when I click, I'm going to get show mountains. It's going to call the show mountains function or the method, but that show mountains method doesn't exist. So let's create that. So we literally go down here and we use methods and then we use the show mountains function. And we want the show mountains function to say show equals true. Okay, now this is not going to work because it doesn't know what show is. So in order to refer to the data, I need to use this. So now I know that show is referring to here and this should work exactly how I want. I click on this, it's going to call the method and it's going to change show is equal to true and if v of show is equal to true, it's going to show my component. Let's have a look. So let me just, oh, my button didn't show. Why did my button didn't show? Oh, because I call it refresh. Let's call it show mountain. So that makes more sense. Put a space. There we go. Now I've got my show mountains. So when I want to show my mountains, I'm clicking here and I've got my show mountains component, right? So Okay, you're probably thinking, yeah, I get it, but I don't really get what's going on here. You're meant to be lazy loading components here. So let's have a look. Let's inspect and see what's going on. So we can see in our network tab, we can basically, let's use the XHR for first. And if we refresh the page, we're going to get, everything's going to be fetched, our client, our SSE. So that's coming, that's fine. But we haven't got our fetch call. When I click on the show mountains, it's now going to fetch, right? So it did not fetch until I clicked it. It wasn't there. It was basically lazy loaded, ready to go, but it's not going to load until I actually click it, right? Um, just to show you another example, let's um, click on the JavaScript. So you can see that the JavaScript that is needed for this application includes a product card, an index, a products. So these are coming from the pages. This is how Webpack bundles it. And you can see the priority over here from high to low. So you can see that um, the pages are basically like, you know, uh, prefetched. They're in low priority and the high priority, the application, what needs to come first, etc. But what we're interested in is the product card. So this has got a low priority. So we kind of like just clear all this and refresh this page. 
So this is the page as we've come onto it. And we now have no JavaScript at all loaded for that component. That product card component contains JavaScript and that is not loaded at all until we click the button. As soon as I click the button, you're gonna see down here, the product card JavaScript file. Click the button and there you go. We get our mountains and we get our product card JavaScript. And that is how we know that our component is lazy loading. So literally uh, to lazy load our components, um, all you got to do is prefix it with the word lazy. Uh, you don't need to write any kind of dynamic import statements like you, you would do uh, if you were normally writing your import statements. You just need to prefix with the word lazy. So that's pretty much it. And you can literally have so much fun lazy loading your components and that will highly improve your performance. Have fun, everyone.